Today's Mass is offered for souls in purgatory. We pray and offer for souls who have no one to pray for, forgotten souls. We shall pray for the souls of Ko Hong Tat and Teo Sot Hua, for Rita Ko, for John Chong and Elizabeth Yung, for, for James Au, for Philip Lian Boon Choi and Judy Lee Po Ai, for Anthony Paul Gomez, for Cecilia Theresia Jacob, for Mabel Rosell's third death anniversary, for Moses Anthony. Offer in special intention for God's abundant graces and blessings upon me by P. My Group. Special intention and thanksgiving for Baggy Bhagavan's blood and family prayers for families in Melbourne, Australia, and Philippines. Offer in thanksgiving for God's abundant blessings by Anne Chang. Thanksgiving to Divine Mercy, Mother Mary and St. Michael by Jonah. I also pray especially for the passions of CDM in thanksgiving for the seven years that I've been here as their parish priest. Also I pray that all will go well with the transition. Pray for the new priest that will come in for Michael Raymond. I also pray for and bless all those who have been involved in building up the parish, in building up the church. We should pray for those who are suffering during this pandemic, all those who are finding difficulty to get a job or sustain a job, all those who are facing domestic problems, difficult to put food on the table, and various other issues and problems that people face. May they continue to receive God's grace and blessings through our generosity. We should pray for our own personal intentions and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. Blessed indeed is he who ponders the law of the Lord day and night. He will yield his fruit in due season. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today the Church commemorates or celebrates the Feast of St. Jerome. Jerome is one who translated from the original language to Latin of the Bible, which is called the Vulgate. And he also fought many heresies during his time. But more so, what we are reminded of him is that he has set his hand on the plow and he never looked back. He continued to fight for the church, just like how Jesus invites us to do so in today's gospel. And so for times that we have failed to remain steadfast in God's ways, for times that we have failed to be faithful in God's ways, for times that we have not bring in Christ into our lives and abide in His presence following His ways. For this and for all the sins that we have committed, let us be truly sorry for our sins, acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen.
reading from the book of Job. Job spoke to his friends, Indeed, I know it is as you say. How can man be in the right against God? If any were so rash as to challenge him for reasons, one in a thousand would be more than they could answer. His heart is wise, and his strength is great. Who then can successfully defy him? He moves the mountains, though they do not know it. He throws them down when he is angry. He shakes the earth and moves it from its place, making all its pillars tremble. The sun at his command forbears to rise, and on the stars he sets a seal. He and no other stretched out the skies and trampled the sea's tall waves. The bear, Orion too, are of his making. The Pleiades and the mansions of the south, his works are great beyond all reckoning, his marvels past all counting. Were he to pass me, I should not see him, nor detect his stealthy movement. Were he to snatch a prize, who could prevent him, or dare to say, what are you doing? How dare I plead my cause then, or choose arguments against him? Suppose I am in the right, what use is my defense? For he whom I must sue is judge as well. If he deigned to answer my citation, could I be sure that he would listen to my voice? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come into your, your presence, presence, O Lord. I call to you, Lord, all day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand and praise you? Let, Let my prayer come into your, your presence, O Lord. Will your love be told in the grave, or your faithfulness among the dead? Will your wonders be known in the dark, or your justice in the land of oblivion? Let, Let my prayer, prayer come into your presence, O Lord. As for me, Lord, I call to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face? Let, Let my prayer come into your presence, O Lord. a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples traveled along, they met a man on the road who said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered, Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another to whom he said, Follow me, replied, Let me go and bury my father first. But he answered, Leave the dead to bury their dead. Your duty is to go and spread the news of the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, sir, but first let me go and say goodbye to my people at home. Jesus said to him, Once the hand is laid on the plough, no one who looks back is fit for the kingdom of God.
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A would-be disciple of Jesus' boasts that he will follow our Lord anywhere, whatever the sacrifice. And so Jesus' response makes us wonder whether the fellow understood what he would be getting into. Following Christ is demanding and not always glamorous. We might dream of doing great things for Christ, but then find the day-to-day -day struggle distasteful, for the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. So unglamorous challenges take many forms. A new wife might discover to her chagrin that her husband can't handle finances, or a parent with high hopes learns that a child has a learning disability that will limit her ability to excel. Or a husband takes a higher paying job to support his family, only to find his new boss is a tyrant. Or a teen suffers ridicule at public school for her modest clothes. So all these trials can be the cost of following Christ. So what price are we willing to pay? My dear friends, Christ tries to dissuade another would-be follower from bearing his father. The man was probably settling his father's estate and getting too involved in family finances. And so our Lord wanted him to cut with all that immediately and get on with the work of the kingdom. Too often, money matters distract us from doing what Christ wants. No wonder St. Paul warns, the love of money is the root of all evils. So is money holding us back in our relationship with Christ? Are we working longer hours than we need to just for the sake of money? Well, the moment of decision had arrived. But instead of joining Jesus' camps, the would-be disciple felt the tug of family ties. And as followers of Christ, we have to be willing to make a fundamental option for Christ, an option that by necessity excludes their paths. Does this sound hard? It should sound familiar. Think of the young woman who says yes to a proposal of marriage. She does so assuming that her beloved has long broken off other romantic relationships. Or take the student who decides to go out for the soccer team at school. He rules out spending hours of practice on the basketball court. By extension, if you want to follow Christ, why do we fritter away hours in activities that have nothing to do with our faith or the church? So are there things we need to weed out of our life? And so as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us pray for the grace to focus our energies better on God, on Christ himself and what he is asking of us. Let's pray that we not be distracted by activities or material possessions or even relationships that are not helping our spiritual life. Let us pray that we will accept the cause of following in Jesus' footsteps and weed out everything that doesn't fit in our state as a Christian. We pray for His grace during this Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his, his name, name, for our, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray that, that we may be faithful to God's will, as we dare to say. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy friend, reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus who invites us to choose him and to remain faithful in his ways. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord God, your words were found, and I consumed them. Your word became the joy and the happiness of my heart.
Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we come to the last of my Mass here in this parish. I thank you for all your support, your friendship, your prayers for me, for your blessings upon me. Um, I will continue to stay in Senens after this, uh, continuing my studies full time, um, no responsibilities. Um, it is quite tough with being a parish priest and also studying, especially when classes are at night. So thank you once again. The online masses will, will carry on as. Uh, some of you have been asking whether the Mass will be going on or not. Definitely the Mass will be, go will be going on by the new parish priest, Father Michael Raymond. And so for me, I do not know if I will start my online Mass, but um, let me get settled down. If ever I have, it will be on my own Facebook page. So if there is, then you can follow there. So thank you once again and continue to pray for me um, that I will be a priest after the heart of Jesus and continue to do well in my studies and my exams. Thank you very much for all that you have done. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. We pray the prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, of healing cast, cast the light of health and well-being on those, on those who, who have been exposed, exposed to coronavirus, coronavirus those who, those who have contracted, contracted the disease, bless them, them, protect them, and, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of, of life, grant, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with, with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, humankind fighting this outbreak, threatening, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father.